Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, California Weather Watch. Today is August 2nd, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop, and you can see some thunderstorm activity just off to the east of Las Vegas there, moving up towards Utah here, northern Arizona, another round of thunderstorms today, but we are cutting off precipitation across some of Southern California as we go. And then we're going to shut down the monsoon here for at least a few days. We'll take a look at those details. We're going to build some heat back up again. Again, across the region here as well. We'll take a look at that also. Now, here we are looking at the HER 3 cam. This is 8 meter above ground smoke density. You can see the flat fire bringing across southwest Oregon, bringing some smoke down into California. So if you're wondering what that is, you see the hazy skies, you might even sell, smell some smoke from that air. That's what it's from, the flat fire. But doing pretty good otherwise across much of the state of California, Nevada, Arizona. A few fires off there to the east there, but not too big of a deal right now. You guys know how bad it can get at this time of year across much of the state. So cross your fingers, we can keep it that way. Rain chances through Sunday. Don't shoot the messenger. San Diego, California. Look at that. It's gone down to zero for pretty much the entire area, including the higher terrain out there as well. So we are shutting down the moisture here for at least a few days. This day in Southern Cal weather history, you can see that it most of this has to do with the monsoon activity, flash floods. But look at 1976. Low temperature in Palm Springs dipped to 52 degrees. A crazy temperature there for midsummer there. Yeah, so kind of interesting stuff here. Great stuff, all, as always, from the National Weather Service san diego here we go below normal temperatures enjoy these for the next few days wednesday thursday look at this just only reaching up into the low 90s out there for some of the area and if you really want to get down to some cool weather get out to the coastline there look at death valley only getting 115 the next couple days metro phoenix check it out as the warm-up comes we start to build the ridge again here excessive heat warning will be in effect again as we go through this weekend you can see globe warming up as well and yuma also this is the chance of showers and thunderstorms today phoenix down there at five percent but you can see you don't have to go north that far towards flagstaff peach springs out here muggy on rim here getting some nice thunderstorm activity all the way up into utah flash flooding potential dangerous lightning heavy rain small hail gusty winds you guys know the drill and this is a Las Vegas National Weather Service inter interesting graphic they put out here today. But you can see the heat will return as we go through this weekend. Now, this is for Utah here. Check out Zion. I mean, you're looking at expected flash flooding potential today. So be careful today. If you're thinking about going hiking today or tomorrow, I highly suggest you pick tomorrow because this activity will be on the wane. Today, though, there's going to be some strong storms across the areas here. As you can see, a lot of these areas, you know, even like Capitol Reef National Park expected Bryce Canyon. Canyon. You guys get the picture here. Wait until tomorrow if you can. This is looking at the high temperature in the lower 48. Look at 114 in Death Valley. Relatively cool there. And you can see Montana got down to just below freezing there. Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. Check it out. That red line is average this time of year, right about 104, 105 or so. And you can see the bump back up here as that ridge starts to redevelop here and we get nice and toasty again here across the phoenix metro bakersfield you can see that temperature climb above average here as we go through this weekend and on into early next week as well and this is looking at the precipitable water here the gfs this is hot off the presses in fact 12z it's running as we speak and i'll put this in a motion you can see that monsoon moisture surge northward across the area today and we quickly go below average here as far as precipitable water is concerned which you know is kind of good marker of just what kind of monsoon activity we're seeing across the area and you can see we're really shutting things down here as we go through the weekend on into the early portion of next week as well some of this tries to return to some southern zones here but not a big signal here we'll continue to watch that over the next few days but it's probably going to be shut down here for much of the area as we go but there will be some thunderstorm chances across some in northern california and northern nevada here as well now this is looking at the uh, European Ensemble mean uh, as of yesterday afternoon. And you can see we had that relative weakness there in the ridge. And now we're going to rebuild it here, though, as we go through the weekend. You can see it kind of forming here. Not as uh, substantial as what it was showing here in previous days in the week leading up. So that's a good thing there. And then look off in the fantasy land here as well. This includes the Pacific Northwest all the way up the West Coast of North America. Nice strong ridge with some uh, pretty good northern extent. A pretty good signal there in the Europe. European ensemble run, but it's at the point where it's so far out that it's just fantasy for now. It's something we'll watch off into the future day by day. This is lightning flash density in Nevada, California, Arizona. You can see that thunderstorm activity that I showed you in the mid-level water vapor loop across some portions of northwest Arizona into Nevada and eventually Utah today. And you can see that activity really increase across northern Arizona, Nevada, Utah for one more round of thunderstorms here. And then that activity will start to wane as we go to tomorrow. And I'll show you what I mean. You can see today versus tomorrow 
tomorrow th as you go into Thursday. Definitely lesser amounts of thunderstorm activity, but it does uh, include northern Nevada and Utah still again tomorrow as we go into Friday. A little bit of a repeat, but you can see the downward trend in thunderstorm activity and coverage across Arizona, Nevada, and Southern California for sure. But there is still some chances across Northern California and Nevada as we go on in through Friday afternoon there. And by the time we go into Saturday, you can clearly see the suppression of that monsoon moisture across a lot of the region here. This would be Saturday afternoon shown here on last night's European run. Day one thunderstorm outlook, check it out. That marginal risk here for some severe storms. Some of these storms are going to be pretty strong here across Utah and northern Arizona today. So there's a day one. There's day two. You can see that activity moving northward. And day three, something similar. This is the six to 10 day here. And you can see it does include a lot of Arizona, some of California, Nevada here up in the Pacific Northwest. And pretty big signal there across much of the south. And big blue blob there across Montana and Wyoming here across some of the northern plains. And this is the suppression of the Montana soon continuing to show up here in the 6 to 10 day and the 8 to 14 day outlook. This goes through August 15th. And this is looking at 24 hour running total here, precipitation on the GFS. So this would be by Thursday afternoon, you can see some of this activity really coming to a halt here across Arizona and a lot of Nevada, except for Northern portions here. And now as we go on through, so this would be Saturday morning, 24 hour running total here. You can see we're just gonna shut things down. Let's go on into Sunday morning here, scrolling ahead and you can really see that deficit of precipitation. Now looking at Sacramento, you can see enjoy these seasonable temperatures here midweek before the warm up comes back here again this week and then back down towards more normal temperatures into the, the extended. We'll continue to watch that. This is Las Vegas. You can see the return of the heat here as well with the potential for some precipitation this morning and maybe on in through eastern portions here as we go through this afternoon. This is just starting August 1st through August 1st. This is just a one day temperature anomaly map. You can see the cool weather across the northwest, or northeast there across Texas, the plains here some of the Rockies above average Montana here yeah so we'll watch this day by day this is going to change a lot this is just a one day running total there and this is the entire year January 1st through August 1st here 0.38 above the 30 year average here and you can see the big yin and yang between the west and the east now this was also put out a couple days ago here so the new El Nino current status and prediction here and you can see we are now at 1.2 we uptrended a little bit there and you can see the climb out of La Nina back into these moderate El Nino conditions this is where we measure it across the equatorial Pacific Nino 3.4 is right here. There's the Hawaiian Islands. It's to the south of that. There's South America. There's Mexico. There's Australia here. So that's where we measure these conditions. And we are technically in moderate conditions right now, El Nino. This is looking at that tongue of warm water. You can see it extending across the equatorial Pacific. Kind of a classic looking El Nino signature there. You can see the cooler than normal water just off to the north and off the California and the Baja coastline there. All the things are starting to warm up here off the coast of Baja. This was looking at the CFS. This updated forecast does show us kind of creeping into that moderate or strong El Nino territory. You know, there's a good chance we might end up with a strong El Nino. And you can see that classic warm tongue here as you go through October, November, December, January, February, and on in through March, most likely looking at El Nino conditions coming up here. So yeah, again, if you guys are out about Northern Arizona, Utah, some portions of Nevada today, I would highly recommend putting it off until tomorrow or Friday. There can be some strong storms out there. I guess that unless you're a storm chaser out there and you want to shoot some lightning and kind of risk it out there in some of the canyons. But just have that heads up in the back of your mind that the storms are going to be rolling out there. You know, it doesn't take much to cause some flash flooding issues there. So hopefully everybody's being safe. Um, yeah, we'll continue to watch this stuff. We'll watch that ridge building up here and we'll do this again tomorrow. Hope you guys are having a good day. And also leave some comments below. Let me know what else you'd like to see. We'll continue to monitor this developing El Nino on in through the fall and winter as well. So anyway, yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.